Good afternoon, everyone. This is my first YouTube video, and I am Sam Mangle. Uh, it is uh, Tuesday, February 7th, and as you can see from the scene behind me, I am at the Philadelphia International Airport. I actually came here uh, last night for a client sentencing. A client came me last September after he went to trial, a doctor went to trial and lost um, three counts uh, for healthcare fraud and uh, kickbacks. I worked very closely with the doctor and his wife uh, and the attorney from the end of September through early this morning. Uh, the government wanted a sentence of 51 to 60 months, prepared this doctor extensively for his pre-sentence And uh, other than the fact that today was my first day back in the same building uh, where I was sentenced almost five years ago to a sentence of five years, and I only served about 21 months of that, it was relatively scary walking through those doors, knowing that when I went in there in April of 2018, I didn't have the luxury of walking back out. Uh, while my attorney promised me probation and uh, made all the assurances not to worry, the judge sentenced me to five years and I was remanded right to custody. I was actually gonna do this video today as I walked out of there because the scene on uh, the background was the Philadelphia Detention Center and where I had been remanded to. I think though my emotions got the better of me and my daughter convinced me to wait a little while until after sentencing and do my first video. So here I am at the airport. The doctor was scared, his wife was scared. He had a full group of people behind him and uh, sitting there with the judge as they did their preliminary objections to the pre-sentence report, I was concerned. The doctor was concerned if he would qualify for RDAP, the drug and alcohol program. And even though I uh, prepared him extensively uh, for that, we discussed it prior to his pre-sentencing, uh, he was genuinely concerned, as was the attorney. The other uh, concern that he had was, while his co-defendant got a relatively lenient sentence, this is the doctor very successful. And they were disputing the guidelines and whether he received 100000 or over a million dollars. One of the questions he and his wife asked me beforehand is if they bring a restitution check with them to sentencing uh, for about a million dollars, will that help? And of course, anytime you can make a substantial payment towards a fine or restitution prior to sentencing, it does help. <clears throat> it took about three hours for the sentencing. And at the end, the judge read that the guidelines and he determined the guideline range for this uh, uh, defendant was 16, which put him in a category of about 21 to 27 months. The judge also went one step further and commented on how well prepared he was, how the fact that he had been doing charity work with Phil Abundance and took the time to write a statement, unlike anything he's seen before, something I helped him extensively with, really impacted the sentencing decision of this judge. <clears throat> so at sentencing, the judge read that while he feels that a punishment is due, he also feels that justice needs to be served properly and even handled. The judge sentenced uh, this doctor to one day concurrent for the three charges that he was sentenced. That's three days. Uh, three sent three uh, charges so it was actually one day in prison when the attorney asked if his client can self-surrender the judge said not a problem just tell him to go back to the u.s marshal's office he can sit there till five o'clock doctor also got six months of home confinement this after the government wanted 51 to 60 months which was also what the guidelines called for to say that the, the family and the client were relieved would be an understatement sure he's got to prepare for the home confinement but the sheer joy and, and overwhelming sense of relief was something that is, is rarely felt and certainly not experienced that often in my uh, history in helping people. The point of the story is, A, you can go back to where things were tough. When I went back to the uh, detention center, or I went back to the courthouse where I had such a horrible outcome, it was overcoming a fear, but I did it. So you have, sometimes have to face your fears knowing you'll get by it. But the second, which more important lesson is, if you prepare properly, if you work with the right team, 
if you have the support behind you to overcome what in many instances might be the most challenging circumstance of your life, you will get through it. You might not have the same results that this doctor did, but you will get through it. So thank you for listening to my very first YouTube. Uh, I hope to produce many more of these in the future, and I do look forward to having an opportunity to speak to you should you have any questions.